welcome back to Cotton Creations. So I'm super excited for today's video. I am going to be doing part two of the big tall balloon centerpiece that I uploaded a week ago. And if you missed it, I'll be sure to link it right up here for you guys. And in that video, I covered how to create the stand and I did show you one method to attach the balloons but it didn't really work out and i told you guys i was going to work on it and figure out a method that makes this look even more elegant and closer to the inspirational photo and guess what i figured it out so in this video i'm going to cover how to do that technique if you're interested be sure to stay tuned and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the great videos i have coming your way let's hop into it so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to blow up some balloons. I am using the dollar store balloons and what I'm doing is just putting a few pumps of air in them so that they are small. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach two balloons together so I can have sets of two balloons. And so from there I'm going to take one set of two and I'm going to use some pipe cleaners to attach it to the hula hoop. Um, you should be able to divide your equally divide your pipe cleaner into threes to get the right size and just be careful when you're attaching it with the pipe cleaner um, making sure not to like stick the balloons because they will pop on you so when I get done twisting the pipe cleaner what I do is I just push it and so that it's to the side of the um, hula hoop and out of the way of the balloons and this way it doesn't overcrowd the hula hoop with balloons and you don't have an excessive amount of balloons when you attach them directly onto the hula hoop and what I like to do is with each set of two I just have one set going uh, back and the other set coming a little bit forward so they fit nicely into each other so just take a look at the video and it should um, help with the verbal explanation but that's what I found to work best. I was gonna do the hot glue, but I wanted to find something that was a little bit more of a temporary hold versus a more permanent hold. So I decided to give pipe cleaners a try and I loved how the results turned out. I did um, stick with the hydrangeas, but of course you can always use any type of florals that you want. You can add more um, acrylic, garland to it um, you can add some lighting up underneath of the balloons having it um, the lights so that they're beaming down towards the base um, that could be a nice cool effect but yeah i really love this technique it was super easy and super quick and i love the results the way it turned out so it's much more like the inspiration photo So I decided that I would go ahead and do it with roses just to give you guys a feel of how that will look. So let me know what you guys think of this technique. Like I said, I was going to do the um, hot glue of the balloons, but I wanted something that was even more temporary in terms of a hold so I can reuse the stand over and over again for other projects. So I think that the pipe cleaners worked out great and they were super quick and easy to attach to the hula hoop and it gave me that look and feel that I was looking for. Of course, with the flowers, you can go over the top and add bigger bunches of hydrangeas or roses or any whatever florals you want to add to your piece to like make it your own. Um, 
but yeah i love the results i love how it came out and like i said you can always do things with like lighting that would really take this centerpiece like to the next level but be sure to drop me a comment down below let me know what you guys think and if you like this video you already know what to do give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next video thanks for watching Thank you.